what this does is uh, we uh, actually have the group coming today to start uh, outlining the parameters of things that we'll research, the kind of tech transfer items that we'll do, and uh, the topics that uh, we'll be looking at. We'll have great scrutiny. We'll put together an advisory council. We'll put together uh, uh, research committees that will be starting to look at this from all four institutions. In one sentence, I would say that uh, the regional economy uh, will benefit from our projects and uh, the research results can be applied uh, to the wealth and health of the nation. Uh, we will be concentrating on uh, multimodal uh, transportation, uh, basically uh, freight uh, on uh, river uh, travel, and uh, we will be optimizing uh, the system, evaluating the uh, existing um, uh, structure of it, and um, uh, it will be a, uh, the result will be a sustainable, sustainable development in, in the multimodal transportation field. We have a major challenge in this country. Uh, freight volumes are going to continue to grow. We can't just continue to put more and more freight on our highways. Um, plus, there, there are major advantages to, to shifting freight volumes onto rail or onto waterways. It's safer, it's more efficient, it uses less fuel. Um, and it doesn't tear up our roadway infrastructure. So uh, we're hoping to figure out ways to optimize the movement of freight uh, and to do it in the safest and most efficient manner possible. And we think through the research that we'll do with this center, uh, we can help to contribute to that. The fact that we have the, the University of Kentucky, the Kentucky Transportation Center, we have the University of Louisville with their logistics center, and we have Hampton with uh, the blue water side of what they bring from a multimodal standpoint, <clears throat> to me that is just, uh, this is a great group of institutions and I'm real eager to get started on this.